Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Gemini, for the week of November 28th, right into December. Wow, here we go. Gemini. Gemini, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. You're very close to achieving your goal. Love that. You're close. Very close. Oh, right there. Okay. Surrender to the divine. Look at that, the full moon. Love that, Gemini. Just surrender it. Surrender any doubts to the divine because you're very close to achieving your goal here. What kind of animal spirit is locking with Gemini? What kind of animal spirit? Ooh, the dragon. Look at this Gemini. Wow. You are being watched. Look at this. I love this with the angel eye coming in on you. But very magical. Very magical. Ooh, I love that. And the zebra. Look at this. The third eye opening up. The third eye chakra opening up. So you're able to see beyond what you used to be able to see. So you're getting a new understanding here. A new perspective. Wow. What kind of Zen tarot is up in the ether for Gemini? Conditioning. Yeah, see? <laughs> you are being conditioned for something, being prepared for something. Wow. Wow. I love this. And guilt, the eight of swords on the bottom of the deck. Look at this. Very interesting energy coming into you, Gemini. What are you feeling guilty about? You're being conditioned for something. So it's all for purpose here, Gemini. So whatever it is, it's for purpose. You're being conditioned for something. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. And the angels are watching. <laughs> what is this? What is this? All right. What's up in the mind space for Gemini? What is Gemini thinking about? Gemini, what are you thinking about? I saw the lovers. That's your card. Page of Wands. So oh, passion. You're really fired up about something. Really wanting to get going. Let's go. Let's do this. Yeah, like you're preparing for something, you're conditioning for something, you're, you're uh, busy. I don't know. I don't know what this is. You're feeling very busy to me. Eight of swords and eight of swords, you are all up in your head, trying to distract yourself from something, from thinking about something or worrying about something, or there's just a lot of fear here, a whole lot of fear with the uh, eight of swords coming out twice here. So all up in your head, Gemini. Yeah, got to get out of your head. Surrender that to the divine. Surrender the fear to the divine. Yeah, look at this with the Leo energy coming through in the mind space. Strength, it's giving you strength. It's giving you a mental strength that you can really count on. You're going to need it right now because you're being conditioned for something. So you're just, you're just getting your, your mental health up here. <laughs> you're getting very mentally strong here, very ment mentally powerful here. So... Interesting. Well, what is this about? And why is this going on? Because it's a new cycle here with the wheel and the strength is a major arcana card. So you're coming into a new phase, a new uh, reality for yourself here. You've been conditioned for this new phase, for this new cycle here, but it really got you up into your head. There's some things that you're feeling a little bit... Um, regretful about don't have any regrets here really surrender the regrets to the divine here gemini there's just no reason for you to have any regrets because you are always doing what you you could do in the moment that you did it with the tools that you had available to you so there is no reason for you to look back with any kind of regret you always did the best you could so you're coming into this new phase where you're really getting conditioned here you're going to be so mentally strong and balanced here that um, those regrets will just kind of uh, minimize away. They'll just kind of fade away and you'll come into a real understanding that you did the best you could in, in the moment that you did it. Oh, Gemini, this is beautiful because this is a real understanding of your power here, of your, uh, that it's up to you. And you're taking a real leap of faith. I love that the fool came out here in the mind space. You've got three major arcana in your mind space here, Gemini. 
this is beautiful and it's all about new beginnings here the eight is the infinity sign you've got two eights you've got three eights so there's a real sense of urgency to get into this new cycle here but you've got strength you've got the wheel the number 10 which is also an ending and a new beginning and you've got the fool which is zero the brand new beginning the no preconceived notion of what's ahead for you so you really are letting go of the past here a real releasing of the past here and anything that has held you back oh what are you feeling what is gentleman gemini feeling gemini queen of cups look at this in the heart space so unrequited love you you are not expressing yourself any longer now now you're not just you're you're not wearing your heart on your sleeve you've learned too, too many lessons to do that now you are not revealing everything about yourself any longer so you're really holding back now but it's time for you to do that it is time for you to hold back now and not not throw um throw uh, your opinions just so freely out there without judging the room first, without feeling the room out first. Because I think that's what threw you into some regret here or into some um, uh, regret here. So uh, yeah, I'm really feeling that. So <laughs> it's not that you're not going to be wearing your heart on your sleeve anymore. That's one of the lessons that you have really learned is not to wear your heart on your sleeve. It's just too easy for people to, to kick it, <laughs> spit on it. <laughs> Look at this with you. I knew you were going to come out in your own reading here. The lovers coming into the heart space. So real merging of your energy here. A brand new beginning, Gemini. New emotions. New emotions coming to you. And um, letting go. A real, real release here coming to you. So, wow, I love this. I love this because it frees you. It frees you from all these thoughts that have held you back. Or reasons why you aren't where you think you should be. So, you're just releasing that. It's like, oh my God, I'm just releasing that. I'm just going to be me and see where that takes me. <laughs> but now I don't have to tell the whole world how I'm feeling in every, every given moment, or I don't have to reveal everything I'm thinking. You know, I just, I feel you really pulling your energy back, a real pullback so that you can release on the other side of the, uh, of the, uh, of the look back of the review here of the regret, releasing of regret. Yeah, look at this with the Three of Swords. Wow, Gemini, it's just been tough. You know, it's been tough for all of us. It really has emotionally. But your toughness, your hard road here, your sorrow, your grief is being transmuted. You're being conditioned into this stronger, um, real, real wise energy here. So you're you're very old soul. I can feel that about you, Gemini, for sure. And, and you've you've pondered all of these things and you're a real uh, philosopher and you really go deep with people and connections. I mean, you are the lover's card. So how can you not? Your soul, everyone you meet is a soulmate, Gemini. Everyone you meet, but and that's true for all of us. Everyone we meet serves some purpose, some form of um, lesson or elevation here. So we're all growing. But yeah, it's been tough. It's been tough. I'm so happy to see you come out of that tough cycle here and really get some mental power back. It's, you're very, very mentally strong here. After some heartbreak. Yeah, and some healing with the Four of Swords. Real healing here. A mending of that heart. Look how it's just all cracked apart here. You're just in so much sorrow. And then you just go into rest mode. It's like, I just need some peace here to mend this heart without trying to figure everything out. <laughs> Don't come to me. <laughs> oh, look at this. There's that wish fulfilled, though. That new beginning. I mean, it is right here for you. 23 is going to be really fantastic for you, Gemini. You're really going to be taking some chances. And it's all on you. You're taking some chances on you here and it's just so beautiful it's so beautiful because you won't let yourself down here oh don't start barking i hope my dogs don't start barking you've taken some real chances on you here gemini and it is gorgeous i love it oh my god the major arcana is incredible here but the star comes out more healing for gemini just a real massive healing coming in from from anything that had gone real wrong in the past or any kind of real regret or any sorrow you just really a massive healing for your heart here i love that what else my god i may as well just pull all major arcana i mean you only have one two 
three cards that are not, four cards that are not major arcana here. But justice, justice is yours. Gemini, victory is yours. You are so close to achieving your goal here. Just when it gets the darkest, right? Just that, I hate how that works. The universe does this to us. It's at our darkest moment, at our darkest hour. Bam, here comes the change. Here comes the light. Here comes the release from the pain. It's like giving birth. You just get brought to this moment of, I can't do anymore. And then bam, there's the birth, there's the life, there's the, the release, the relief. Oh, so beautiful. Gemini, you get this huge victory and I love it. What else? Lots of Gemini cards too. Gemini to me, I know justice is uh, Libra, but it's always Gemini to me because I can see the other side of it. Anytime there's a duality in the cards, I see Gemini. So I love that Gemini because you're very balanced. You're so balanced. The magician. <laughs> I can't believe it. Another major arcana. Wow. This is a whole change of your life, Gemini. This changes everything because this is in your foundation. Now you've got it in your thoughts and you've got it in your foundation and you've got it in your heart with the lovers. I mean, my God, but you're creating this. You're creating this newness now, this, this new beginning, everything that you're about to experience, this huge adventure you're about to go on is because of the past, because of the things that you regret, you wouldn't have this huge elevation, this huge change that you are absolutely going to feel. You wouldn't have had that if you hadn't have done what you did then. So, wow, that's what the conditioning means. It means that the purpose of those regrets was to bring you here, to bring you to this pureness, this purity, this this huge uh, elevation in your life here, in your mind, in your heart, and in your soul. Wow. You were just being conditioned, Gemini. That's all. It was just, uh, I hate the word test, but damn, if this is not a test. I mean, this is major. Queen of Wands, look at this getting your own magic back now, really understanding the power that you do have and the, um, the responsibility of your life. You're taking responsibility for your life. And, and uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful because you're taking a chance on you. You're taking a risk on you instead of other people, instead of taking chances on other people. And maybe they can help me and maybe they can pull me out of this. And maybe that will change everything. Maybe this person will change everything for me. You're thinking, maybe I can change everything. Maybe I can get out of this. Maybe I can do. And you're, you're really putting some responsibility on you. You're taking control of your life here. And my God, it propels you into this next cycle out of the darkness, out of the dark clouds here, out of the grief and sorrow that you've been through here, even out of the mending. You're even done mending. You're healed. It's done. It's done. Cured. Gemini cured. <laughs> wow. Anything else in the foundation for Gemini? Anything else? two of swords. Yeah, look at this. You just couldn't see it. You couldn't see the lessons in it because you had to go through that. You had to experience that. Spirit intentionally held some things back from you. They, The birds are always depicted, um, spirit is always depicted by the birds in the tarot cards here, and they are the ones holding that blindfold over your eyes. They couldn't have you see that because that was your conditioning. That was your pre uh, preparing for this. So they just had to hold it back from you. And you have blind Blindfold in the Eight of Swords here, and you are, um, well, she's not blindfolded, but she's really not happy, is she, in the uh, Eight of, look at this past lives under there. Wow, this goes back a very long time. I'm wondering if you've broken these, these uh, ancestral bloodline promises, you know, that I will learn this, I will go through this grief, I will be, I will suffer, <laughs> I wonder. But boy, no more, Gemini, no more. You've learned that it doesn't have to be that way, that you can change it in this lifetime, that everything can be changed in the blink of an eye, and all we have to do is change our perspective. That's it. And so you've learned that. What kind of energy is coming at you? Seven of Wands, look at this. People are defensive around you. They've got their guard up. They've got their guard up. So it's probably easy to trigger them if you're saying that one obviously wants to come out. Look at that, the devil on the Eight of Swords there. It's toxic, toxic, toxic. That fear, that fear that was seeping in, that was creeping in, that was uh, 
um, just all too consuming, all addicting when you're looking at this fear. And this is not your energy, Gemini. These are those around you. So they were really, really feeding on that fear and um, buying into it. But you just kind of went into your own little mental escape here. It's just, uh, you just backed away from it. You, you're, you're at the end of that where I don't know about them. We'll see. We'll pull some more cards. But they are in the grips of this fear right now. or very recently passed. They were all caught up in the fear of something and it was in their mind. Judgment, more major arcana, doesn't surprise me, but a reawakening, a reawakening of connections, a real calling out. So maybe you have had some discussions about events that have gone on in the past and that's where this regret feeling of yours was coming into here, Gemini, because things were being reawakened, conversations were being reawakened, things were being brought up that had died long ago and um, called out. So you probably did have some tough discussions lately, and that really, really helped you to mend some of the things that you were feeling or some of the uh, help to uh, soothe some of those regrets there. Look at this with the world on the wheel, my God. Talk about an ending and a new beginning for you and those around you. Gemini, this is really big. More major arcana in the cards and the energy coming at you. Just huge, huge changes. I mean, you've got three major arcana out of four right off the bat for the energy coming at you. Wow, these are really big lessons. These are really big finishes of these karmic lessons that you have been in for, I mean, past lives for a very, very long time. So, wow, you're doing it. You're doing it. You changed it. You changed your stars, Gemini. You changed your stars. You changed the contract. Love that. Absolutely love that. Of course, more major arcana with justice here. You've got justice here, justice here, more Libra energy. That's why this one seems more Gemini to me because she, she sees her reflection there. And justice here, he is truly a judge or some kind of uh, a decider here, some kind of figure of authority. So you might know of a, a person who is in a some kind of authority uh, position here, some kind of police officer or attorney or doctor or somebody who has some say so here. So really really, really beautiful, really beautiful energy coming at you too. Wow. And just so big, just so big. They're learning just some huge lessons here along with you, along with you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the Hierophant, another major arcana. <laughs> but really, really breaking free of the tradition of it, breaking the contract, absolutely breaking the contract that I will come here. I will suffer my way to happiness. I will uh, crawl on my hands and knees till they're bloody up the hill, up the Tibetan hill until I meet the Buddha and finally find peace. That was the contract. It was that deep. It went that deep with all these major arcanas, Gemini. And you broke it. You renegotiated the contract. It's so amazing. It's amazing. And spirit allowed you to do this because they knew that lessons had been learned, that the conditioning was complete here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Five of swords relationships have been very, very difficult. It's been really hard to truly connect into people because inevitably, inevitably it hurt your heart. It, it, it's just so heartbreaking when they just dropped the battle altogether, when they just stopped caring and walked away. And you had to do that in some of your connections too. You had to just stop caring and walking away. You had to let a lot of the fears go and just walk away. It just was too, too much. So it was better to uh, end the connection than, than to just keep beating each other up, just keep pummeling each other with different fears and different uh, projections on each other. So, wow, that, that took a lot of courage, a lot of courage to just walk away from it. Same thing with the Five of Pentacles, a walking away of the lack mentality of the poverty mentality of the suffering i must suffer in order to receive here it went into that kind of mentality probably for ages back because all of the major arcana here tell me that so it probably
probably has gone on some very, very long time forever. This I must suffer in order to have rewards here, in order to have rewards. But Gemini, you have suffered here. You have gone through the suffering here. Your time of suffering is over. It is time to reap the rewards now, to get to the top of that mountain, to really enjoy your time here now, to really grasp the goodness now and let the fear go. Just walk away from it like you did some of those connections that just hurt too bad. You just walk away from the fear. Eight of Pentacles, look at that focus now, real, real focus on their lives now, on where, on where they're going and what they want to do. Letting go of some of that betrayal, but they do feel very, very betrayed. They feel very much in their, in their wits end, the people around you, the people that really are um, a part of your daily life. They're feeling at their wits end right now. They're at the place where you were, where you were before that massive release when you could let all the negativity go and really breathe in the positivity. They're in that dark moment. They're in that moment of the childbirth where I can't do this anymore. I'm done. Just kill me now. And they would rather have these 10 swords plunged into their back and suffer one more day of this painful experience, but it's over for them. It's done. It's over. It's this new day. It's been called out. It's been reawakened and re-looked at and reprocessed and done. They can walk away from it now. Justice is there. The karmic return is here for them. So they're very, very close. If you're, if you're around people or the people around you are really suffering right now, just hold on with them. Hold on. Hold their spirit up. Hold their hopes high because it is over for them. They do not have to suffer any longer. Yes, look at this with the two of cups, partnership, reciprocity, give and take. Now you're sharing energy. You're not resisting each other. You're not pushing each other away. You're sharing the energy. You've merged the energies now. Now it's a gift to you. You give to me. It's this real reciprocity in relationships now. Ease and flow. King of wands, inspired action, a real leader stepping into my God, the chariot. So yeah, another major arcana of moving forward, getting the hell out of there and moving forward, but never having to look back again, not having any more of these reviews or look backs. It's been processed. It's been learned here. So really able to move forward. Beautiful. Ooh, look at this. The hanged man just shows how long this energy has been playing out and the hermit. But again, <laughs> major arcana. So let's see, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight major arcana here. Eight out of 15. Wow. <laughs> eight. Again, that number eight though, that sense of urgency. I've got to do this now. I've got to do this now. So wow. Wow. This is lovely. Oh my God. And the sun comes out for these people who are at their, their wits end here, who can't take the pain any longer. Um, there it's about to be released for them. You help them release that pain. Like you release yours and it's going to change their life. Obviously both, all of your lives are about to change forever. You never have to look back at this dark like this again, Gemini, at the depths of the darkness, like you have in the past. So Oh, I love this. I love this. And this is why the angels are watching. They want to revel in this good energy now, in this in this excitement and hope and um, a real change, a real change. All right, Gemini, I hope you like this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And I hope you have a fantastical week. I will definitely tune in soon.